Amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks. Today coming to you from Guadalajara. And no, I'm not in Mexico. This is Guadalajara, Spain. And today we're going to be having a look at this city and uh, seeing if it is a good city from a quality of life point of view, should you be considering coming to live in this country, Spain. Now, Guadalajara is in the province of Castilla-La Mancha and we are about 60 kilometers east of Madrid. Uh, it's uh, sort of on the way to Barcelona, if you know uh, Madrid and the surrounding areas. And this is a city where a lot of people have come to live over the last decade or so, or even before the crisis here in Spain, because it offered a cheaper alternative than living in a big city like Madrid. And as I said, only about 60 kilometers away from Madrid, so uh, a lot of people can pop into the capital city to work every day. Now we're gonna have a look around the city and we're gonna check out what this city is like from a quality of life point of view. The first thing I'm gonna say is that it isn't a city that is full of monuments. It's uh, no Toledo, for example, but it is a relatively attractive city, a small city, and a city that could offer good quality of life. Now obviously the key to a city like this is going to be the quality of life aspect. You're going to be able to get a quality of life in a place like this that you can't get in a big city like Madrid. Because a city like this, 85,000 people, a lot of people as I said working in the capital city every day, this is a peaceful regional capital. And uh, here in Spain, these are the places that offer great quality of life. And the benefit is that if you need to work in a city like Madrid, it's only 60 kilometers away and it's connected by commuter train. So you can be in there really easily every day should you need to. Now, as I said a couple of minutes ago, it's not really a city that offers a lot from a monument point of view, but there are enough things here to keep you occupied should you want to uh, get out and check out the city uh, on a weekend, for example. But as I said, if you compare it to some of the other cities in this particular region, uh, not a lot of things to see. So from what I've seen so far, this looks like a really interesting city. It's peaceful, it's small, it's manageable. You can get from A to B really easily. And uh, as I said before, uh, you're close to Madrid. So a definite pro from that regard. Now, obviously in a city like this, you're limited to what you can do. There's not a lot of activities here. But again, that's the key to this city, that you've got Madrid so close that you can be in there in 30, 35 minutes or by train about 45 minutes to an hour. You've also got a fast train here, which we'll check out a little bit later in the video. And that fast train can take you to Madrid or to Barcelona, and it can also connect you to the other fast trains in this country. So that is a pro of Guadalajara. However, the fast train station is not in the center of the city, which is a bit controversial. And I'll go into as to why it's not in the center a little bit later in the video, but uh, having all of those transport options makes Guadalajara an interesting city to look at. Now, like most cities here in Spain, Guadalajara has a big elderly population, but you can see these benches behind me, and uh, uh, in the afternoon, or at the weekends, you'll see a lot of people sitting down having a chat, maybe having a game of cards, a game of chess, a game of dominoes, and they've also got these uh, exercise areas over here also where uh, elderly people can uh, do their exercise and try to keep fit and healthy. And that is a definite pro for a city like this. Now, another aspect of Guadalajara is that you are on the Enares River. Now, the Enares River is not the most attractive river in the world, let's be honest, but it does run through this city. And there is a parkland around that area as well. And the river gives a little bit of life to a city like this as well. Now, I don't think you can swim in the Enares River. I think it is quite polluted, but it is an aspect of the city. And there are some nice parklands in the center of the city like this one here that I'm in at the moment. And it is a place that you could come and relax and uh, enjoy the surroundings of the city. Now, when it comes to cost of living, a city like uh, Guadalajara is definitely a lot cheaper than a city like Madrid. It's not the cheapest city in Spain. I'll be honest with you there. We'll, we'll have a look at some numbers and you can check that out. But uh, if you compare it to a city like Madrid, it's gonna be a lot cheaper from a, a rent point of view and getting into accommodation. The uh, other cost of living aspects, for example, going out, having a beer, having uh, dinner in a restaurant, lunch in a restaurant, are not gonna be all that much cheaper. 
but uh, accommodation expenses are going to be a lot less and uh, as I said you probably don't need to have a car as much as you would need to in a bigger city here in Spain so you could cut down on the transport costs as well so another pro of living in a city like Guadalajara now when it comes to security this is another safe city in Spain population size means that it's not going to be a very violent city from a crime point of view again you can be the victim of crime in a city like this don't get me wrong there are people that could steal your wallet steal your phone people looking for opportunities like that but uh, compared to a big city like Madrid or some of the other bigger cities in Spain uh, you're not going to have these same security issues and the general day-to-day -day about going out and enjoying the life here is incredibly safe uh, violent crime doesn't really exist in a place like this so from that point of view excellent Now what I will say about Guadalajara is it's not the prettiest city I've seen in Spain but it's not the ugliest city that I've seen either so it's sort of in the middle and a definite pro of a city like this is because it's a regional capital you're going to get all of the services that you can imagine in a place like this you've got hospitals, social security, taxation offices, all of the public services that you need to get your things done you can find in a city like this. Now one thing I have noticed as well is that this is a very lively city, especially this time of the uh, afternoon. It's about 1pm, there's a lot of people out and about doing their things. Some people are getting ready to finish work, some people are having a tapa and a drink, but there are a lot of people out and about in Guadalajara today, and that's because of the weather. It is a fantastic day, it's about 14 or 15 degrees, and the weather is very, very good, considering that it is the beginning of December. So a definite pro for uh, this city today at least. Now another pro of an area like this is that the food is reasonably good in this part of Spain. Of course being Castilla-La Mancha you're going to have the good cheeses, the good uh, regional cuisine and uh, the wine in this particular part of the world is not too bad either considering that it comes from other areas in the province here. Cuenca for example has good wine, uh, Ciudad Real has good wine in that province as well and uh, you can get good food and drink in this city. So one thing I have noticed that this city doesn't have and that's a bike scheme. There's no public bike scheme to get around this city and I haven't seen a lot of buses or uh, other types of public transport. Now no doubt there is a bus system here because every city in Spain has a bus system but uh, I haven't seen any bicycles so that's a bit of a con about this city. A bit of a negative aspect in my opinion. But that could be because the city is not flat. It's a little bit hilly and that might be the uh, deterrent to people getting on bicycles. In fact I haven't seen anybody riding a bike at all in the time that I have been here so uh, yeah that's probably the reason. Okay I've seen a bus there's the first bus that I've seen since I've been here so there is a bus system. Now here's another thing that I like about the city and you'll see that when the light turns green this uh, strip here that is currently red will turn green so it's uh, good at helping people cross the street safely. Now another pro about the city is that there's a lot of pedestrianized areas really easy to get around on foot in this city. Uh, there are cars, don't get me wrong, there are cars everywhere but uh, pedestrians do have a lot of places where they can walk the streets relatively safely and that is a definite pro. And in this park here, which I'm in at the moment, which is in the centre of the city, it, is, it looks like a really relaxing place and a great place to come on a uh, Saturday or Sunday afternoon just to chill out, let the kids play on one of these uh, kids parks here and uh, as I said just chill out on a, on a weekend. Now I mentioned before that one of the pros of Guadalajara was that it had a fast train service and uh, indeed it does but as I said it's not in the middle of Guadalajara the station. The station is about oof, 10 kilometers away maybe 15 kilometers away from Guadalajara capital and basically it's in the middle of nowhere and uh, rumor has it that the uh, decision to build the station in this part of the uh, region instead of in Guadalajara city was because the lands around here belong to one of the uh, more aristocratic families here in Spain and it was one of these pelotazos uh, as they call them it was uh, a get rich quick scheme for that family to put the station here and the idea was to turn all of this land around here into a housing estate 
and uh, people could uh, live in the area, catch the train into Madrid every day or to wherever they need to work and uh, you know live in Guadalajara for a lot cheaper than buying a house in Madrid for example but as you can see it's uh, pretty desolate in this part of the world today being Wednesday and a lot of people questioned whether building the station in this part of the world made sense and uh, it doesn't seem to have in my opinion. Okay so I'll start to wrap this video from Guadalajara up. If you're looking for a small city, 85,000 people, which is close to Madrid, so you can have the advantage of being able to go to that city whenever you want. And let's be honest, Madrid is a city which is good to visit, but not necessarily to live. So if you want to live in a smaller city here in Spain, which has all of the facilities that you need to get by, this is a city that you should keep in mind. The weather's not too bad, a little bit cold in winter, hot in summer, but uh, you can get by. And as I said, there's plenty of parks where you can chill out on a weekend as well. Is it the best city in Spain? No. Does it have the most amount of monuments? No. But it is a city where you can find good quality of life, not as expensive as some of the bigger cities, and uh, well connected, which is an important aspect. Questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego. Thank you.